And here I am once again with uh, number 30, man of the match for Paisley Pirates, Marty Guy. It's not the first time I've interviewed him. Always got a good laugh for the beginning. Um, Marty, disappointing result in end, mate, but a fairly competitive game nevertheless. Yeah, yeah, def definitely disappointed. Um, first period we were all over them in his own. Um, second, dropped off a little bit. Third, battled hard, but mm. not really the result we wanted. Never is. No, nobody likes to lose, especially at home ice, but um, the boys gave it their best, and I don't think they ever gave up, and that was an important thing. Lots of heavy checks going in, um, a few heavy hits, as I'm sure people will see from the highlights later on. But um, overall, you must be quite happy with your own performance here. You seem to be coming on to a good game this stage of the season already. Trying, I'm mm. trying. Um, definitely got better this season with Carroll and Callum in my mm -hmm. line. Um, definitely improving, but yep. there's always places where I can improve, and... Um, just try to get to that point, you know, it's, uh, it's always can do better. Well, that's good to hear because, you know, there's been a lot of players at other levels of hockey would be happier performance. It's one thing I personally like about SNL hockey, you get an honest game from every player, which was on evidence tonight if you once you see the highlights. Um, but uh, next uh, next home game, I think, uh, Marty, there's, we've got a few ho uh, road trips, mm -hmm. but we've got a home game on December 1st against Aberdeen Lynx, that'll be another big game, eh? Yeah, yeah, it always is against Aberdeen. Uh, kind of physical team as well, but sure. we need to step up and, um, you know, play our game. If we play our game to let Ian and Adam say, we should be fine. Good. No. Well, I don't think anybody can, uh, yeah, disappoint to lose, but as far as um, effort, I thought the boys gave it every shot, every, you know, the best they could. So thanks again for your time, Martin. Right. We'll see you again soon, pal. All right. All right. Uh, it's Stuart McMillan here for Paisley Parrots post-match interviews. I have the Dundee Comets nominated uh, interviewee tonight. It's Billy Hogg. Billy... Uh, looking slightly worse for wear there, uh, obviously we, uh, it was quite a hectic game, very physical, but a good result for your side nevertheless, 7-1. I definitely went 1-0 uh, down early on, but we battled hard and came back, just kept going all night and eventually got the win. And uh, that's a, a strong performance by a very experienced Dundee Comets side, um, how do you think your chances are for this season? You won the league last season, you're obviously hoping to follow it up this time. Well, obviously you got a lot of pressure for last year, mm. the treble and the double the year before, so a lot of expectations, but sure we've got the strength and the boys to keep going and hopefully get a bit more silverware this year. Yeah. Now the results uh, was, was, was uh, I think it was apart from the fact that it was, seven, it was a 7-1 seven scoreline, it was fairly evenly matched. Um, the, both sides gave as good as they got. There was a couple of scraps yourself and one or two of the boys. Um, but what I liked about the end of that was at the end of the fights it was pat each other on the back and, and that's it, get, it's all finished. There's no nonsense on the penalty bench after it. No, it's always the same, it's just none, none but respect to the boys, you know what I mean, get, get the fight done, that's it done. Yep. Just hard work all night for the boys, so. Well, I'm not going to keep you, Billy, because I know you'll be wanting to get back up the road. Um, thanks again for your time, big fella, and try and stay out of trouble. Eh? Okay, all right, big thank you. Thank thanks, Cheers. pal. Sir McMillan, once again, I have with me Paisley Pirates coach Ian Turley. Ian, can I have your thoughts on that game, uh, you know, despite the results of someone? Um, I think that first period, we have to take something for that. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a good um, kind of overall performance for that. Um, the other two periods, if I'm if I'm you know perfectly honest, we didn't we didn't compete enough. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean you know you know you see the the Comets team they have yeah. they have talent there um, where they can step up and and when they do you know they they, they, they punish you. Mm -hmm. um, but for for myself and and Adam how we feel I mean the the compete level there is is not to a standard that Paisley Pirates you know um, accept. So as far as fit fitness goes, Ian, with the help of the, the Pro Life Fitness Centre, the boys get the benefit of a regular membership there. Um, so what would you put the, the, the they may possibly running out of steam in the second, third period down to? I think it's just um, it's kind of mentality we have now. We have mm -hmm. a, I think there's there's some guys came here. Um, we have a wee bit of a, a losing mentality mm -hmm. um, when this is the the first loss um, sure. we've had this season in, in competitive games. Um, and that's um, you know it's a good result obviously for Dundee. Mm -hmm. That's that's the um, only the second time I think, and so this is the ninth season I've been here yep. where they have um, came here and won a, a regular season game. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of the fitness, you know, like Dundee had a game last night. Mm -hmm. um, we had 15 guys. I think they had 15 guys. So we should be fresher. We we're playing at home, mm -hmm. but we weren't. So we're not. The guys are not doing enough. You know, there's some guys are. But there's other guys, I say, I'll be perfectly honest again, they're, they're not doing enough. That's what I, I, in the time I've been doing interviews, I like about Ian, he's very honest, he'll tell it like it is. So I take it then, Ian, that uh, the boys will be getting worked hard at training during the week? 
I don't think it's just about working hard. I think no. it's now about myself and Adam sitting down right. and seeing now who are the <clears throat> what guys we want to take ahead of the season mm -hmm. now. You know, what guys we want in the squad. Sure. Um, obviously, everybody that we have taken on board, um, we feel can add a, a difference to the team. Mm -hmm. um, we went this year with a bigger squad because we have, you know, last season we had a really, really thin squad. Sure. Um, but sometimes that always doesn't work in your favour. I think before tonight as well, we had four guys injured as well. So we have a lot of injuries, but is that an excuse? Absolutely not. We should be performing better than that. Thanks again for your honesty, Ian, but um, obviously with uh, a few games on the road before we have our next home game here on the 1st of December, uh, quite a bit to work on, but I'm sure you and Adam will be prepared to to um, to get it done during the week and for the rest of the training. Yep, no, we definitely know um, what we need to work on. Um, I think I said to you before, you know, we, yeah. we know where we need to be, uh, we know where we are, we're always assessing, we're always evaluating, we're always looking at ways, you know, we don't leave any stone unturned, yeah. um, so certainly we're, we, will, we will be, this game's done now, um, I think there's a few there's a few things we can certainly learn from this game sure. ahead of the season, knowing that with the Comets being kind of one of the top end teams, you know, Definitely. and they are, they are good, they, you know, they had a couple of guys missing tonight, so we know, but I think it's basically for us, it's going back to, let's look, let's you know, I suppose it's the cliche, let's go back to basics, but yep. I think for us it's more, let's go, we have to go with the guys that are willing to compete and willing to battle, and I think tonight we didn't show enough of that, um, there was certainly a few guys with the captain who's, who's obviously willing to compete, you know, he does lead by example, but do. we don't have enough of that, yep. we don't have enough of that here. Well, thanks again for your, uh, your time and your, your honesty, and, and thanks again for all your interviews during the season, and I'll catch up again Monday. Thanks, Joe. Okay, thanks, mate. mate.